This is Marshall with Inversoft to cover the filter mode configuration for blacklist entries in CleanSpeak. I'll start with a quick introduction of why filter mode exists. One of the classic profanity filtering challenges has to do with words embedded in other words. This is commonly referred to as the Scunthorpe problem. Scunthorpe is a town in England where residents have had a hard time registering for services like AOL and Google due to a poor profanity filter rejecting the town name from C-U-N-T embedded in the name. Inversoft tackled this problem by introducing the concept of filter mode. For each entry on the CleanSpeak blacklist, a filter mode is assigned to tell the filter how the entry should be filtered, particularly when it's next to other letters and numbers. To demonstrate, I'll provide a bunch of examples of how to filter the word Smurf. For each example, remember that the filter sees the word Smurf every time and then goes through a process of elimination to decide whether to keep the match or not based on the filter mode of the Smurf blacklist entry. In our first example, Smurf is embedded within somewhat random letters and numbers. There's only one filter mode that can be assigned to Smurf for this case to be considered a match, and that's Distinguishable. Distinguishable is the most aggressive filter mode where entries are treated as matches no matter what the entry is embedded next to. Entries that are distinguishable will be filtered similarly when users try various tricks to get around the filter, the stuff CleanSpeak finds for you automatically. These tactics include Replacement characters, such as a dollar sign for an S. Phonetic replacements, like a PH in place of an F. Repeat characters. Leet speak, in this case a pipe underscore pipe to create a U. Inflections from parts of speech, such as smurfing when smurf is configured as a verb. And embedding punctuation and spaces between the letters. I'll refer to these tactics later as CleanSpeak's baked-in intelligence. Again, all of these will be filtered when Smurf is set to distinguishable. Set entries to be distinguishable when they are phrases, when the entry is unique, or when you simply want to filter it more aggressively and remove some of the false positive checks that CleanSpeak provides. The latter is common with children's applications where erring on the side of filtering too much content is actually preferred. For a word to be unique, it means that the character sequence would not normally exist in user-generated messages. One trick to determine whether a word is unique is searching for it in the blacklist dictionary. As you can see, there are 550 results when searching for the word ass because ASS is embedded in many normal words, and that's hardly unique. However, when searching the dictionary for Smurf, there are zero results. Therefore, Smurf is a good candidate for distinguishable, but ass is not. Next, take a look at Smurfhead. Again, CleanSpeak sees Smurf, and this time it's embedded next to the word head. The filter returns Smurf head as a valid match when Smurf is set to distinguishable or embeddable. Embeddable means treat this entry as a match when it's embedded next to words or numbers. Head is a word because it's on the dictionary, so Smurf head is a valid match. Embeddable entries will also be found from the baked-in filter intelligence as seen here. The embeddable filter mode solves the original Scunthorpe issue by setting the C-U-N-T entry to embeddable. The filter knows that Scunthorpe shouldn't be a match because it doesn't make sense for it to be. It doesn't look like a bad word because C-U-N-T isn't next to a word or a number. Most entries in the CleanSpeak blacklist should be set to embeddable. Exceptions include phrases and unique words that should be distinguishable, and acronyms, numbers, ASCII art, and some small words. For those cases, the safety checks for the embeddable filter mode can still be too aggressive. That's where non-embeddable and exact match come in. The non-embeddable filter mode means find this entry and all the possible crazy combos from baked-in intelligence as long as the entry is not embedded next to any other letters or numbers. All of these will be filtered if Smurf is set to non-embeddable. But the moment a letter or number is next to it, the match is rejected. An example of an entry that could be non-embeddable is the word gin. By itself, it's clear that gin, or even gin with repeat characters, is an alcoholic beverage. It's unlikely that a user would try to get the word gin past a filter by embedding numbers or letters next to it. Also, if gin were set to embeddable, misspellings like bargain would generate a match because bar is on the dictionary and embedded next to gin. Set an entry to non-embeddable 
when it's a short word that is problematic to set to embeddable because embeddable creates too many matches. The exact match filter mode takes it another step further and says CleanSpeak, only treat this entry as a match if it is found exactly as it looks. Do not go crazy with your baked-in intelligence. Exact match still carries with it some intelligence. Even though repeat characters, replacement characters, and other baked-in intelligence will be eliminated for exact match entries, punctuation will still be absorbed to create matches. Let's take a look at a couple of entries that make sense to be exact match. The acronym MF and the number 420. We don't want the filter to find MMMMF or 42,000 because they lose their meaning. But we do want to find M-F and 4 colon 20. Set acronyms and numbers to exact match as well as some ASCII art. One final note. The default blacklist that is installed when CleanSpeak is first set up errs on the side of caution. When in doubt, CleanSpeak will throw out a match to prevent false positives, which means the filter mode is lower or less aggressive than it could be for many entries. To step up the aggressiveness, such as filtering in-game chat in a virtual world for children, you may want to use distinguishable more often. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please feel free to provide feedback or request videos on other CleanSpeak topics by commenting here or contacting us directly. Thanks for watching.